Mastering Legal Briefs, a key tool in your legal vocabulary arsenal. Hello everyone, and welcome to another insightful episode of our English language learning series. Today, we're going to focus on a very interesting topic within our professional vocabulary, legal vocabulary section. We're honing in on legal writing and communication, and specifically, we'll be examining writing legal briefs. Legal briefs are a crucial part of the legal profession, and we hope this video empowers you with the vocabulary and understanding needed to navigate this important aspect of legal communication. First off, it's crucial to understand what a legal brief is. A legal brief is a written argument presented in court by a lawyer to support their client's case. It consists of a concise statement of the case, a summary of the facts, the legal issues involved, and arguments backed by legal precedences or statutes. As we dive into the world of legal briefs, you'll encounter some specific vocabulary. Words such as plaintiff, defendant, precedent, statute, and jurisdiction are commonly used. A plaintiff is the person who initiates the lawsuit, while the defendant is the one being sued. A precedent refers to a previous case or legal decision that may be or bind the court's decision. A statute is a written law passed by a legislative body, and jurisdiction refers to the official power to make legal decisions and judgments. A legal brief typically consists of several key sections. 1. Title and Introduction. This is where the parties involved are identified, and the issue at hand is introduced. 2. Statement of Facts. This section presents the facts of the case in an objective, concise manner. 3. Argument or Discussion. The lawyer presents their legal arguments here, referring to statutes or precedents that support their position. 4. Conclusion. This wraps up the brief, usually with a summary of the arguments and the relief sought. The heart of any legal brief is the argument or discussion section. Here, you need to make your points clearly and convincingly. This involves structuring your arguments, using persuasive language, and citing relevant legal authorities to support your points. Always keep your audience in mind, aiming for clarity, precision, and logical coherence in your writing. Well, that's it for today's lesson on writing legal briefs. We've explored what a legal brief is, the key vocabulary you'll encounter, the structure of a legal brief, and how to craft an effective legal argument. We hope that you found this information valuable and that it aids in your quest to master legal vocabulary in English. Keep practicing, keep learning, and we'll see you in our next video. Happy learning, everyone!